Hello coders, this is Jared, back again for another Concrete 5 tutorial. Last time we covered the basics of creating a custom template for the AutoNav block. Today we are going to actually do some coding to turn our basic AutoNav block into a slide-out menu. We are going to go over the code for each file and what that file is actually doing as well. Now, let's take a look at what our finished product is going to be. As you can see, we have totally removed the menu from the site. There is a small button here that will pull out the menu like this. We can also close the menu by clicking on this button again. Okay, now that we've taken a look at what the final product is going to be like, we're going to review the code changes that we made to create this block template. For the view.php file, we initially copied over the view.php file located in the forward slash concrete forward slash blocks forward slash autonav directory. Now, I have already made the updates that we need, so we are going to review these changes throughout this video. The first file that we are going to review is the view.php file. Firstly, we add some if-else logic that checks to see if the user is logged in. If the user is logged in, we add a style to the slideout menu div that moves the div down from the top by 50. If the user is not logged in, we are simply outputting the normal HTML. Next, we added an A tag that with an image will act as our toggle button. To accomplish this, we added an images directory to our templates directory and put our new image in there. Then, we simply put the link to the image in the source for the image. Finally, I have removed the class from the UL in this file. It is important to make sure that you close all of the div tags that we created. Okay, that covers the changes made to the view.php file. Next, we are going to look at the view.css file. Okay, we added a lot of CSS to this file, but the really important changes were made to the slide out menu class. The important styles here are the left of negative 250 pixels and the width of 250 pixels. The negative 250 pixels to the left moves the menu off the screen. Also, with the width being set to 250 pixels, all we have to do is set the left to 0 pixels through jQuery to have the menu slide back onto the screen. We will supply a link to these files in the description for the video, so don't worry about copying down all of the CSS for now. Finally, we're going to take a look at the view.js file, which is where the magic really happens. We are preparing an intro to JavaScript tutorial, so if you don't understand everything that is in this file, we will cover that in another tutorial. For this tutorial, we really need to look at where we are creating the variables for the HTML elements, and where we are also creating a variable for the width of the slide-out menu. Notice that we are using the outer width function instead of the width function. This is because our menu will not entirely slide off the screen if we only use the width function. Next, we are toggling the class of open for the slide out menu div on clicks. And finally, we have our if else logic that is animating our div on and off of the screen. It is important to move the button as well, because if we don't, the button won't move with the rest of the menu. Now that is going to complete our tutorial for creating a slide out menu for Concrete 5. We are going to add some more development to this block in the future, so be sure to check in on some of our upcoming tutorials including an introduction to JavaScript, Concrete 5 block development, Concrete 5 theme development, and Darren has several great Unity tutorials coming up soon. This has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more great tutorials.